Hello and welcome everybody to our very first video of our Icon Scout 3D series. This is Nishi here and I will be talking to you about how you can create stunning super cool 3D visuals for your designs with having little to no knowledge about creating 3D assets. In this first video, I will be introducing you to the Icon Scout platform and how you can download various 3D assets. Icon Scout is a marketplace by Lottie Files that hosts more than 4.5 million design assets, including icons, illustrations, 3D graphics, Lottie animations, and so much more. Now let's explore this platform together. Once you go to iconscout.com, you can see that there are various assets available over here. You could either click on any of these tabs and explore what it contains, or you could simply click here in the search box and type out what you're looking for. So I'm just going to navigate to one of these tabs here and see what lies inside. Now as you can see, there are so many assets, illustrations, icons and everything 3D right here. Some of these are free while the others are premium. So if you don't have a subscription to our platform already, I would highly recommend in getting one because our premium assets are of super high quality and are really, really cool. So when you use these in your design use cases, they are going to elevate the visual language and the aesthetics of your design to a whole new level. Here's how you can get a premium asset if you don't have a subscription. Just choose whichever asset you like and click on get all access. As soon as you do this, you are led to a subscription page where you are presented with two tabs. Choose whichever pack that suits you the best. And there you go, you have a premium subscription to Icon Scout platform now. Awesome, now let's go ahead and download something cool. But before that, please remember to log in. If you don't have an account already, make sure you sign up. You can sign up using your Google account, your Facebook account or even your email. But I already have an account here, so I'm just going to log in. Okay, perfect. We're all set. Now let's look for an awesome asset that we can download. Um, what should we look for? We'll have to type in something specific. Okay, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type out travel. Travel sounds like an interesting option, right? So I'm just going to write down travel and hit enter. So now that I've hit travel, I can see that there are a lot of results that are popping up here. There are 3D illustrations, there are Lottie animations, there are icons and you know everything under the umbrella. I am currently interested in getting a 3D asset so I'm just going to go right ahead and navigate to the 3D illustration tab so I don't see anything else there. I'm just going to collapse the categories tab because I don't really need it right now. I have a lot of filters here on my left. This filter here at the bottom is really beneficial when you're working on maybe a design case like a website and when you want to download multiple assets that follow the same visual language. So in that case, you could just hit view as packs and when you're downloading a particular asset or an icon, you can download one from a pack. So when you download multiple icons, they all follow the same visual language. But anyway, right now I just want to explore and look at one individual asset and show you how you all can download that. So I'm just going to go back and switch my view to viewing these assets as individuals. So I have a lot of options here and all of them have their own unique visual style. Okay, uh, I think I think I like this one the best. So I'm just going to go and open that. I really like the whole vibe of this asset. I really like the whole beachy vacation vibe that it's giving me. I really like the suitcase, the little beach ball on the side with the coconut water with a little straw in it. I think this is perfect for me. So once you're happy with the asset that you want to download, you can go right here and say download. As soon as you click on download, you are presented with three options. You have your .plan file, you have your PNG and you also have a zip folder. If you are completely happy with the asset that you have right now and don't wish to make any modifications, I think you can go right ahead and download the PNG. But if you want to make modifications to this asset, say the asset is perfect for you but it doesn't match your brand colors or the color palette that you want. Maybe you want the same asset but maybe from a different angle or you just wish to tweak the lighting a little bit. So in that case, please download the .blend file and we can learn in the upcoming videos how we can make these little tweaks and tailor it to your own use case. 
However, your most safe bet would be to download the .zip file because in that case, when you download the .zip folder, you can make sure that you get all the files that are associated with that asset and you don't really have to worry about which one you need. I'm just going to go right ahead and download the .zip folder. Perfect! I can see my zip folder right here where I had saved it. I'm just going to extract it and see what it contains. I can see all my files in the zip folder are available right here. I have my PNGs and I have my blend file. And yay! We just downloaded a file from Iconscout. In the upcoming videos, I will be showing you how we can change colors, the texture properties, how we can combine multiple assets to create an awesome composition, how to export the same asset from different angles creating a series of PNGs and so much more. So that's it guys. Thank you so much and have a fantastic day ahead.